Greetings to everyone who is watching and listening to me right about now. Brothers and sisters, some of you have been going through endless battles. Battles that are tiresome. Battles that have delayed your progress. Battles that have made you weak. But I want to tell you, the Bible says it clear. Let the weak say, I am strong. Let the poor say that I am rich. If you find yourself in a position where you are weakened by the battle all you have to do is to say that you are strong in the lord that is it believe on the lord jesus and things will happen for you brothers and sisters god loves you so much god is interested in making you a better person brothers and sisters I have a word of encouragement and direction for you. But before I begin this word, please, if you're new to this channel, I please request you to subscribe to this channel. Turn on all the notifications so that you never miss out on these videos. Also, leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know that you are new. Let me know even through my email address, uh, WhatsApp number, if you need prayer. Please send me a message. I will pray for you. I will pray for you. I will encourage you in the Lord. Brothers and sisters, today's word is, they will try to challenge you, but will fail. They are going to come in big numbers. Some of them will start as one person, trying to challenge you. But I'm telling you, they will start leaving. They will see that the God that you serve is greater than the gods that you serve. They will know it. The moment they touch you, they will see fire. Because God is a consuming fire. Bible says it clear. Our God is a consuming fire. Then, listen, if our God is a consuming fire, what about you? Because you were created in God's image. The Bible says, touch not my anointed. Those that are touching you are touching fire. Let me read to you a very powerful word that is going to actually bless you. It comes from the book of Exodus chapter 7 verse 8 to 13. Exodus chapter 7 verse 8 to 13. It reads, Then the Lord spoke to Moses and Aaron, saying, When Pharaoh speaks to you, saying, Show a miracle for yourselves. Then you shall say to Aaron, Take your rod and cast it before Pharaoh, and let it become a serpent. So Moses and Aaron went in to Pharaoh, and they did so, just as the Lord commanded. And Aaron cast down his rod before Pharaoh and before his servants, and it became a serpent. But Pharaoh also called the wise men and the sorcerers. So the magicians of Egypt, they also did in like manner with their enchantments. For every man threw down his rod, and they became serpents. But Aaron's rod swallowed their rods, and Pharaoh's heart grew hard. So he did not heed to them, as the Lord had commanded, as the Lord had said. Powerful word. You see, God is a speaking God. If you have been there and been asking, why hasn't God spoken to me? Why doesn't God speak to me? Why doesn't God direct me? He speaks to you on a daily basis. But the problem is, you have failed to discern the voice of God. He speaks to everyone. The problem is that you have failed. Maybe some of you are outfied with a lot of things. That you fail to listen to the voice of God. The Bible says it clear. Then the Lord spoke to Moses and Aaron. Not, God did not just speak to Moses alone. He spoke to Moses and Aaron. Saying, when Pharaoh speaks to you. Now God is giving them a prophetic word. That Pharaoh is going to speak to you. But when it happens that Pharaoh speaks to you. Saying, show a miracle for yourselves. Then you shall say to Aaron, take your rod and cast it before Pharaoh and let it become a serpent. God told Aaron 
to let his road become a serpent. Not to resist the road from becoming a serpent. Some of you have resisted what God has told you. You have tried to figure it out. You have tried to use intellect. Some things don't need to reason out. When God tells you to do something, just do it. You see, in the natural mind, it is quite, it is impossible for a road to turn into a serpent. For a non-living thing to turn into a living thing. It is impossible. But with God, all things are possible. With God, all things are possible. If you allow him to use you. If you allow him to direct you. The Bible says it clear. That Aaron did so as God had commanded him. And when he did it, his rod was able to turn into a serpent. But Pharaoh called on the wise men and the sorcerers and the magicians of Egypt. He called on three groups. The wise men, the sorcerers, and the magicians of Egypt. And the Bible says they did, they, they also did in like manner with their enchantments. They also said, oh, we can do this. With their enchantments, they did so. But the Bible says it clear. Aaron's rod was able to swallow Pharaoh's serpents. See, Aaron only had one rod that had turned into a serpent. The magicians and the sorcerers and all Pharaoh's people, they had serpents all around. But one rod was able to swallow all the serpents. This then tells you the power of God. That they can try to copy you. They can try to be like you. They can try to act like you, but they will never be like you. They will never even come close to you. What God has given you is so unique. What God has placed in you is so big. That even when the enemy tries to steal, you see the Bible says it clear, that the thief only comes to steal, kill, and destroy. But Jesus has come that you may have life and have it abundantly. They will try to steal your joy. They will try to copy you. They will try to be like you. They will try to do all sorts of funny things to intimidate you. But they will never, never reach to your level. Because God has lifted you up. Because God is going to elevate you. You are the head and not the tail. You are above and not beneath. Brothers and sisters, I hope this word has blessed you. Until next time, shalom.